drink. Um, and it's, it's really sad. And even for us, as we get older, we're getting diseases that we probably got in our 80s and, you know, in our 70s. So cooking from scratch can eliminate a lot of that. We're doing Sarah, a Facebook Yelp Facebook Live. Facebook Live. We've got Facebook going. Yeah, we've got, we've got cameras everywhere. I wish I had a camera that I could film and show you guys what I'm actually um, having to go through here. So when you're cooking from scratch, using these sort of machines is fantastic. You don't have to be complicated about what you cook. When you see me cooking with this machine or anything in my kitchen, it's all about real ingredients. And that's what I'm all about. And that's why I do what I do. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. So we've got awesome people here. They've turned the music off. I was actually enjoying that music. <laughs> Who turned it off? My, my bad. husband turned it off. I was told uh, to. You were told to. Oh, gosh. Well, I might have to do, do a dance. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start. And um, so are we ready to start, guys? Yeah? Yay. Awesome. Yay. All right. So we've got a nice crowd happening here. I love technology. It's fantastic. So we're going to do a bit of a scan. On Say hi. 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 Yay. And I'm going to get my assistant to come and get me some ingredients out of the freezer. Now, the thermo cook, anyone that has one or anyone, has anyone in this crowd got one? Has anyone ever used one? Or I've got, yeah. I'm selling to the converted here, yeah? I'm a lover of these thermo cooks. They're fantastic. I need the berries, thanks darling. <laughs> um, what I love about these machines is they're an all-in-one machine. So you can actually, you can actually make flour, you can make, um, you know, you can make, you can put rice in here and turn it into rice flour. We're going to be making, uh, um, thank you. Oh, we're going to use strawberries. Thanks, darling. Thank you. We're actually going to be making a strawberry granita. What I love about this is when you grab these ingredients, you write them, you just throw them in here, and it's fantastic because you're actually creating really healthy ice creams and all that without any nasty preservatives. So, um, and this granita, because it's Saturday here and it is after midday and it's five o'clock somewhere, we're going to have a champagne cocktail. Yay! 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 <laughs> so, yeah, go for it. But it's really good for the kids as well. And if you don't want champagne, we, we've got, um, you can use mineral water as well or you can use like lemonade. But I don't like to use lemonade because I try and eliminate as much sugar out of the diet as well. And being an ambassador to the sugar film, um, I'm always making sure that I encourage as many people to eliminate sugar out of their diet because it, that's killing us as well. So, Now, this thermo cook has a fantastic jug like this. There we go. Um, and it actually can mill grind everything. And we... It's, look at the beautiful bed right for Christmas. It's gorgeous. And we are going to make this granita. So I hope you can all see... Now, the thermo cook actually comes with some scales, and it's fantastic because you can actually weigh. Um, have a seat, Alina. <laughs> She's getting, I'm getting tired. tired filming. Yeah. Um, so, we actually, in a lot of the recipes, and these recipes that um, I'm going to share, we're going to share these recipes next week, yeah, with yeah. the people. Yeah. Um, so, a lot of it is um, done by grams. So, only because measuring um, by grams, can you guys see? Probably not. I've got to just thank one of our wonderful sponsors, Thermo Cubes, and I'm going to be talking about their products really soon. And it's a perfect accessory to a Thermo Cooks. Uh, I'm just going to move this so that you guys can see because it's all about learning and being inspired. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I popped the jug on the scales, yeah, and it's going to zero out. So I'm just going to use some frozen berries, and we're going to use about I'm going to double it because I know my kids are going to want this to eat as well as we want it for our cocktails. All right, so we're going to use about 400 grams of frozen berries. Thank you, Nella. Now, I'm just going to show you. These um, are awesome. So these are the thermo cubes. And what they are is they actually insulate your food hot and cold. And they're a fantastic, fantastic accessory, especially when you cook all this wonderful food in your thermo cooks. And it's um, there's a special coupon code for anyone that wants to buy this particular or any of these. So you can go on to thermoboutique.com.au, and if you use the coupon code thermoboutique20, you get 20% off and free shipping, which is fantastic. So it's a great. Um, great thing that they've supported us. So thank you, Chris, for um, supporting us. It's great. 
And I'm actually going to add some ice to this as well. So I've had the ice sitting in here. This has been sitting in the thermo cube for probably about half an hour. It's still frozen and it's not melting. Okay, so I've added ice and I've added the frozen berries. I'm just going to put that down. Now this is going to get really loud, guys, so just hang with me. So you just put it back on the cradle and then we're just going to lock the lid in. Now the Thermocook's actually got, let me just see, yeah. There's actually um, about 10 different functions from a speed perspective. And then there's also um, different speeds um, inbuilt in the menu. But I'm actually going to do this myself because I am quite familiar with the machine. So speed 10 is the fastest speed and this is gonna grind this into like a granita. It's gonna get really loud, so just hang with me for a minute. And we're going to do this for about 20 seconds. So just push start. Okay, so that's been going for, let me tell you, 10 seconds, and I'm going to show you what it's actually done. And it's pretty cool. Right. So after 10 seconds. That's how powerful the machine is, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, so this is a, you can actually serve it like this, or you can pop in, the machine's also got, whoops, the machine's also got this little whisk attachment that you can pop in, and you lock it in, and then you can whip it, and it makes it into like nearly a soft serve. So I'm just going to do this. And this is what I love. Now you can add sugar to this if you want. I don't add the sugar because I think the strawberries are sweet enough. Okay. Let's go another. for another probably 10 seconds and as you can see it's starting to become like a bit of a sorbet now Yum. yeah it's amazing now a little trick with this is you can actually add an egg white to this and it becomes like a soft serve my daughter's smiling because she knows exactly what I'm talking about we do them all the time at summertime and you just yeah you put an egg white and it just whips and it's like fresh ice cream it's amazing and it honestly it takes 20 seconds and my kids last night did like a mango ice cream, just with yeah. frozen mango, and they threw in some banana, and it was fantastic. So egg and, whites? They didn't add egg whites, did you? No. So you don't have to. Um, some, some people don't like to add the egg whites. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give this to you guys, but can you just give me a, a champagne glass, and I'm just going to show you for Christmas time, when you've got your friends over, and, and um, should I ask her to touch a bottle of champagne? Is that irresponsible of me? <laughs> not over 18, so you can't. So what we're going to do is you grab a little bit of this. You pop that in the bottom of your glass. And we all love a bit of a strawberry and a champagne, but this takes it to the next level. Okay. Oh, hi. hi. Where are you? Arifa, like, hi, Arifa. Fantastic. My favourite. And then, basically, we just top it with some champers. I'm just going to go like that. For the people who just joined us, do you mind just giving a brief overview? Yeah, sure. What you're doing? What, what we did? Yeah, so this is, um, I've just made a granita out of strawberries and ice. And I've, what, what did it take me? 20 seconds, okay? And then I've turned this into a champagne cocktail. But we can also use mineral water, if you like. Um, and what you can do, and one thing I didn't do, is you can actually rub the rim of the glass with some lemon and then you can dip it in um, some sugar and you get a nice crystallised edge and that's also really pretty. But this is really nice for like, um, I don't know, Boxing Day or anything like Every that. Every day. Every day! <laughs> yeah. How cool is that look? Look at that. Yay! Yay! Yay. Alright, so you guys can have some fun and um, I know my kids are going to want to eat this the way that it is, so um, yeah, cool. And you can make some cocktails, and that one's mine! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. 
So what I'm going to do now is, because this is all about Christmas, I really want to show you how easy it is to make your own pastry. Like people always go, oh, I buy my own, you know, ready-made stuff, but making pastry is such a simple um, function when you've got these machines. So what I'm going to do is the, I'm going to make it because it needs to be, it needs to sit. Oh, you want some spoons? Yeah. There we go. Awesome. All right. Um, Marie, with the freezer, there's um, some butter. Yeah. So what cool. are we making now? With the so cool? we are actually going to start the tart. So I'm actually going to be making a um, leek and kale tart. And, but to start with, we're going to make the pastry for the bottom so that we get that going. And I've got to get that dipping while the... Um... Now, butter. Okay, the butter is frozen. The trick to making pastry is the butter needs to be um, ice cold or frozen. So I've got 75 grams. Now, I've pre-weighed all this just for the ease of the demonstration. 75 grams of butter. And we've got 150 grams of flour. Now, I'm using spelt flour. Spelt flour is an ancient grain, and it's really good for you, and it's um, a little bit easier to digest and higher in protein than normal flour. Okay, so we've got that, and I'm just going to check and make sure that I have got everything in here. We're going to have a pinch of salt. There's my salt. Sorry! I use Himalayan salt. Here's a little trick. If you use Posado... Hold on to your bottles and it becomes fantastic storage for your pantry items. And it's glass and it's fantastic. Okay, a pinch of salt. And then we're going to get some um, ice cold water. Do you mind giving me a glass of um, water just from the fridge? Because everything needs to be cold when you're making pastry. So, why is that? Because it actually um, helps the... It doesn't activate the um, protein in the flour, which makes... Um, the actual pastry all stringy and doughy and tough it keeps it nice and crumbly. So here's Candy! Hi Candy! She's come to get the champagne! <laughs> <laughs> oh you should see, we need to take photos of this, it looks fantastic. <laughs> so good, so good. Awesome. Okay, is that the water from the fridge? Yeah? Yep. Yeah, cool. Alright, I'm just going to, what I'm gonna do is I'll put the lid on here. And we are going to chop this for 10 seconds. So there's a function on here called chop. And sorry, I'm just going to have to bob down. I can't quite see. Um, all right, so we go to the... Okay, chop, and we're going to go for 10 seconds. Now, the great thing with this machine <coughs> is you can also set a timer so that you can um, walk away and just... Let it do its stuff. So I'm going to just set it for 10 seconds and then I'm just going to push play. Awesome. So that is. Okay. So you can see I've put the timer on and it stops itself. So this is the butter and the flour, and what it does is it creates, I'll go like that first, so it creates a nice fine crumb. And in the olden days, um, all, the, all the grandmas and that would know, they say cream the butter and the flour, and they used to use their fingertips, so this is what's fantastic about it, you can actually use the machine. So, we're going to pop this back on, and we are going to add some water, because the water's going to bind it. Woo! Another bottle. <laughs> it's like... Winning the Grand Prix, standing at the podium. Oh, it's, just, it's just winning it like today. <laughs> I love it. Um, and we're just going to blitz this for a little bit more. Let me just check my... Um, we're going to go for another eight seconds. So I'm still on chop. Okay, and I'm just going to push play. <laughs> Pastry. And we're, we are actually going, I'm just going to roll that into a ball. And then 
that becomes the base to our quiche. And it's super yum. And no preservatives. How's the champagne going down? Look at those buckets, man. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's gone quiet in the crowd, man. <laughs> That's so good. That's why I thought if I start with champagne and then everyone's drinking, everything's going to taste yum and beautiful. <laughs> All right, so basically all you do with the pastry, cheers everyone. Yeah, yeah cheers. cheers. So yeah, you see mine. there's a ball of pastry. Okay, now you want to still keep that nice and cold and we're actually going to pop it in the fridge for about 20 minutes while we've got everything going. So pop that in the fridge. And what it does with the pastry is it actually um, relaxes the pastry and it relaxes the, the gluten strands in the flour and that so that it's nice and soft. Alrighty. Okay, now I'm going to get on to making the, um, the filling because it's, that has to cook. So in this machine, this amazing machine actually cooks as well. And this is what I love. When you're busy and you come home from work and you need to have dinner on the go and you've got to do everything else at the same time, this is where it's fantastic. All right, now this um, filling is leek and kale. I've just got to, you've got to keep an eye on the time for me, guys, because I know that this time's going to go really fast. So I've got kale that's already just chopped up into big pieces. Kale. Leeks. <laughs> <laughs> They're all too busy drinking and they didn't even pick up my error. And like, my husband didn't want to tell me that I made a mistake. It's okay, I'm human. Um, okay, so we're going to put the leek in there. Let me just double check. I've got so much going on. Cool. Awesome. Okay, and then we're going to put the lid on and we're going to chop it. So this is what's great about it is it actually does all the work for you. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? Okay. Did you put mineral water in that? Yum. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to actually chop this and I'm just going to chop it for a few seconds. So no more do we have to stand there and chop it so it chops it for you. Okay? That's really cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, really cool. Did you have to pre-chop everything before you pop them oh, in? Oh, you just mix? chopped it into like five centimetre pieces. Yep. And then, yeah, as long as it's all the same size. Um, if you're adding extra like harder vegetables with it, you've got to actually, um, you know, say if you put a carrot in a zucchini, the carrot would have to be smaller and the zucchini would have to be larger because um, of the softness of that vegetable mm -hmm. because it all chops it at the same speed. So, yeah, Peg is coming in to have a look. Looks awesome. Yeah. I just wanted to quickly mention about the safety feature of the thermocop. So once the lid is on, and if it's not on properly, there's a little locking piece here. And if it isn't locked in, it won't go. So it's nice yeah. and safe. They're fantastic. They're really good. And there you go. <laughs> She's good, our candy. Okay, now I've just added in the kale into here. And I'm actually going to add some olive oil. This is where the fun part starts. And I'm also going to add, and make sure that I've got everything in here. Um, I'm going to add a bit of balsamic vinegar, because balsamic vinegar adds a bit of sweetness to, because um, kale's quite fibrous and, yeah, balsamic's a beautiful, um, breaks, breaks down all those fibers and adds a nice sweet element to it. And some salt and pepper. There we go. Pinch of salt. And some pepper. Okay. And then we are going to cook this. Now, on here as well is there are heating functions as well. So I'm going to heat. I want to cook this at 100 degrees. And on the dial, you can see that it goes up to all different functions. So I'm going to go to 100 which is, looks like it's level 10, 100 degrees, and we want to cook it for about seven minutes. Well, not an hour. Okay. And then you just push play. And that's going to do its own thing. So it's going to heat up, and it's going to cook away. 
And then while that's cooking, I'm actually going to roll out the pastry and get that into the oven as well. Alright. How are we all going? That one's good. We got it all? Thumbs up. Thumbs up? Yeah, cool. Facebook Live, camera, that's what we're talking about, yeah? I'm getting this. Guys, it's really hard in here. I wish, like I said, I wish I had a camera or a mirror. That would be awesome. Okay. Is this Okay, cool. You can hear it um, sizzling away. Let me just do a pun. So you can hear it sizzling away. Now this is going to get hot. It's going to cook it for us. There we go. Okay, day. I'm going to get this ready and pop it into the oven. Now with the tart, I hope you can all see. Can I have a drink? Can I have a drink? Oh, drink go for it. Am I allowed to drink on the job? Do it. Oh, definitely. Our cameras might be shaking because we're drinking on the job. Love it. I hope, um, I hope you're getting it. Is there any questions coming through? Anyone? We just had Denise say it took me 20 minutes to find the live feed. Oh, I'm so sorry. So she's just joined us. Oh, okay. Um, live through YouTube. YouTube Live. So um, They need yeah. some cool cocktails in Queensland. Yeah, 40 <laughs> degrees I hear today in Queensland. So Crazy. They're, they're loving their 30 they're, they're loving their thermocooks. Great, awesome. Thermocooks rock. Okay, now I'm going to actually get some flour and I'm gonna roll out my um, dough. Maria, if you can get the dough out of the fridge for me, sweetie, that would be great, thank you. Now, for all you mums out there, I really encourage you. Come into the I encourage you to get your kids in the kitchen because they are the ones that need to learn how to cook, okay? So these are tomorrow's world leaders and if we don't teach them, no one's going to teach them, okay? So this is why you involve them. It doesn't matter if they don't do it perfectly because one day they're going to have to feed you. So make sure you <laughs> Marie, you better be a good cook. Jeez. I'll be coming to you to feed me. Oh I'm telling you. Elevator music while you're doing this. Yeah, like, I have my music turned in the background, and that was like, yeah. Is anyone going to be bonbon dress? We had bonbons here before, guys, and we should have our hats on. So we're all in the Christmas theme. Right, I've got one for you. Go, Maddie. go, go, go. What did Mrs. Claus say to Santa Claus when she looked outside the window? What did Mrs. Claus say to Santa Claus when she looked outside the window? I think it's gonna rain, dear. Oh! <laughs> stuck to the bench and then they've got to start again. But what that actually does is it overworks the pastry. So you need to be you need to be really gentle with it. Okay. Now the great thing with this okay is you know you can make it as thick or as thin as you please. That's about that's about the thickness that I want. And I'm going to get my quiche tin. Here it is here. Now this is about, I think it's about a 27 litre quiche tin. When you're making the quiche, make sure you use a quiche tin so that the bottom pops out and it's a little bit easier. And you only have to lightly grease it. And a tip, please put it on a tray because if you don't put it in the oven like that, you go like that, it's going to wreck the quiche. Okay, I've done that before. I've done that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I am going to... Something's smelling really good. Yeah. Something's smelling really good, but it's this. I think 
it's yeah, the thermo core. Yeah, yeah, the thermo core. Sorry, ozone layer. That's really bad. Okay, I'll, I'll just spray that with a bit of oil. I've used coconut oil because I prefer to use coconut oil. <laughs> Health perspective. And then what you do with your pastry is you just, whoops, it's a bit of sorbet on that. You just roll it onto your pin, pick it up like that, and then you just roll it back over there. Yeah. Yeah. Some warning has come up. And then all we did. Now this is a beautiful quiche for um, your rider leader. <laughs> oh no. We might get the top of her head or something again. Um, this is a beautiful quiche to make for Christmas, lunches. Um, you know, it's coming up to the busy period. So we're all catching up with our friends before Christmas. So um, you can make it. And it actually is beautiful um, cold as well as warm. So you just gently press it into the edges and you can feel it, okay? Get rid of all the air pockets. And then, just push down like that. I hope you can see. And then you get your rolling pin and just go like this. And that actually cuts the edges for you. Okay, and then you look like a baker extraordinaire. And everyone won't believe, everyone won't believe that you've actually made your own quiche and your own pastry and there's no preservatives. Okay? 20 minutes? Yeah. Not even? Not even. Okay, so there's your pastry. Nice and neat. Okay? Great thing is, oh look at that, good timing. Just going to go like this and I'm going to check that in a minute. I just need to push this to stop it beeping. Great. What we need to do with this is we need to, what they call blind bake. It's not, we haven't had too much champagne in it. We're, we're not that sort of blind. We're <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Yeah, it's so simple. <laughs> 
Sorry, it's really hard for me to see from, from this distance. Okay, temperature. Let's get that up. Okay, speed. We'll do it at about the speed two. All right. Maybe you use the preset functions or? Yeah, so the preset function I used before was um, chop. Um, there's a preset function in there for saute, but because I've actually um, created these recipes myself, um, yeah, I've just set, set it. I like the autonomy of using your own temperature and, but there is... So you use the manual setting? Yeah, I use the manual, but like all the other preset functions are fantastic. So you can use, um, yeah, you can make bread, there's so much. You could cook in this, I could cook in this all day, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah, alrighty, I'll get that finished. And then I'm going to actually also make a, um, a guacamole. This is the great thing with these machines, is you've got so many different functions to it. I'll just wipe down my bench. Is there any other questions so far? Oh, it looks like we need some charging. We're we running out of battery power. Yeah. And Kimmy and I in the comments. You keep an eye on the comments? Cool. And answering any questions? Any questions? questions? Any more jokes? Any more? What, what's people, what are people up to? Is anyone? I, want, I want people to tell dad jokes. Dad jokes. <laughs> we need to read out all those Chris King Pringle ones. Those, um, what are they? Like the copper ones. I don't know. I don't know what those mean. Oh, you're freezing in the beard. Pop another one. Pop another one. Do another yeah. one. They're going to do a pop up. Oh, we should do it in front of the camera, yeah? <laughs> yeah, do it in front of the okay. camera. Ready? <laughs> one, two, three. One last time. It's my turn. Christmas time, you're in the kitchen for hours, um, and yeah, that's great candy. Just pop that. So down. when you purchase one, you get actually you get um, one jug, but you can get additional jugs if you're you know, somebody who likes to have you know yeah. a lot going at one time. Yeah, especially if you're a big family and you um, what they call batch cooking. I'm a big fan of batch cooking, so this that means um, on a Saturday or Sunday I sit and I would cook for hours. I'm making all food for the week, so um, and it's really handy. So, um, and that's where you can shift from jug to jug. I um, wish everyone could smell the aromas. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, smell can. Smell can. Don't worry, that'll come soon. Smell can. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, get a guacamole going because I've got these beautiful little entrees that you can make. 
And dips are the one thing that you, when you go to the supermarket, it's, um, whoops, you're right. Dips are the one thing that are packed with like really bad ingredients. And this is why I love these machines, is that they're fantastic and as far as, um, you know, putting real ingredients in there and creating something super amazing. And you can control all the different flavors as well. So this guacamole, I'm gonna quickly whip this up and it takes no time at all. And then I'm going to actually serve it on top of um, some beautiful little roasted sweet potato. Stop it. With bacon, vegan bacon. Yeah. Sorry, all yeah. the vegans out there. Sorry, it's optional. Um, okay, we're going to put um, some onion in here and some cherry tomatoes. Yeah. We're gonna let that chop. Don't go bacon my heart. Don't go bacon my heart, go, we're full of it. We're going, we're on fire. It's the champagne. Yeah, it is the champagne, isn't it? And then where are our lids gone? Oh, there it is. Okay. Whoops, that's really hot. I don't know. We've got about 22 minutes to yep. do it, Cool. Sounds, sounds good. Do you need this jug washed as well? Um, I've got two, so... So, um, <laughs> what do you normally do? How do you normally wash these jugs? Yeah, I'll show you at the end how I wash oh, okay. them. Yeah, I'll do a quick demo. I actually we just, them. we just had a question from Colette asking um, when the jugs will come out that is actually dishwasher safe. So, these are not dishwasher yeah. safe at the moment, but we are talking to our suppliers to try to get them dishwasher safe so that it's um, a bit easier. But actually, to clean these, they're not. They're, it's not that hard. Yeah. I actually pop it back on the cradle, and you can actually just put a drop of um, detergent in there, and, and then you use it, um, and it will, it will clean it up. And another good tip is keep your eggshells, and you can actually pop your eggshells in there, and anything that's been cooked on the bottom, um, you whisk that up, and it becomes a fine powder, and it's like a, um, a natural scourer to your jug. So that's another really that's good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's great. Great. yeah. So that's um, that's another. So yeah, just keep your eggshells, and then you just rinse it out. So you actually really don't need the dishwasher. And this is, you know, this is what's so fantastic about them, and, and it's environmentally friendly as well. That we're not using all these chemicals to clean the item. You don't need to. Thank you, Dave. Um, all right. Well, can you just grab me the cherry tomatoes out of the fridge, please? I'm going to make this quick guacamole. Now, in this guacamole, I have. I pop, thank you. So there's about a quarter of a red onion and we're going to throw in about six cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to pop that in and I'm going to use the preset function pop. And clear that. This machine's getting a good workout today. And we're going to actually put it on speed five for three seconds. Speed and five seconds. with these machines, always make sure you scrape down the bottom or the bowl because it pushes everything all the way up to the top from the power of the motor. Mm. Yeah, it smells so yum. Alright, and then we're going to add our avos. Now, we're going to add about two avos, and avos are in season at the moment, so they're um, when they're in abundance, um, they're nice and cheap. And, you know, guys, you need to eat seasonally because when you eat seasonally, um, the fruit and the vegetables are the highest in nutrients. They're not horse grown. They're not um, full of herbicides or pesticides. And they are also um, cheaper. So when you go to the shops and you're buying, if you went to the shops to try and buy an avocado in the middle of winter, it would be probably imported from overseas. Um, and that is not good because you can imagine how long it's been in transit for. And not only that, because it drops its nutrition value as well. So, um, always eat in season. That's one of the best things that you can do for yourself. So, I'm just adding these avos in. Any other questions out there, Elena? Not yet. Not yet? Cool. 
there's any questions while we're online, please ask, or I'm happy to answer them afterwards. Um, okay, pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, always season your food, guys. Don't be afraid to put salt and pepper into your food because this is what brings out the natural um, flavours. And there's so many myths out there about don't eat this and don't eat that. Everything's great in moderation. All I say is 80, don't. 20 rules. 80 20. And if you're eating real food, it's, you know, you're, you're well on your way. Um, and I'm going to add some coriander. Any coriander fans out here? No. Yeah. No? Yes. <laughs>
a healthy vibe. And you know, it's so my so mouth good. is watering, seriously. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? You're going to actually build these yourself because there's enough for one each. So I'm going to start that out. And there's some serviettes there so that you can actually eat. Alright, so I hope you guys saw that there. And here's the bacon. There's some serviettes there as well. Um, okay. How much? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can, someone, can someone take a nice photo of one so I can Instagram it? Oh, yeah. oh, Maria, yeah. you, know how to, um, you know how to do ins nice Instagram photos. Um, oh, yeah. No, that's okay. It's all good. All right. Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually quickly build, because we've got about 10 minutes to go, I'm going to quickly build up the quiche, and then we will eat later. I should not touch this. Okay. Now, this has been baking, and you can see it's half baked, and what you want to achieve is at the bottom it's nice and crispy. Um, and then we're going to grab some eggs and we're going to get our filling. Do you want to whisk up some eggs for me, Bella? Yep, so grab those four eggs and pop them in there. And just the eggs. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And also, what we're going to add to this tart is, because I love sweet potato, I actually pre-cooked some more sweet potato while I was doing this. I'm actually just going to pop some sweet potato down the base. Now, sweet potato is fantastic. It's one of the best vegetables for low GI, so um, which means you'll get your fill fuller for longer and it's got a beautiful sweet flavour to it. So I'm just going to add a few of those and I'm going to pop this kale mixture under the top. And then we're just going to add, so yum. Is so good, yummy, oh, great. They're enjoying it. Yeah. Okey doke. And it's super healthy. Mm. Okay, so I've just added the kale and the leaf mixture in here. Now, I posted a photo of this um, particular cache up online. Um, if you like food. So, like I said, always make food beautiful because the first thing you do with food is you eat with your eyes. That's why when you're looking at, um, you know, all this takeaway food, they make it all look beautiful and fresh. Would you like to have one of your Sure! Food? I'll have one of the vegan bacon. <laughs> <laughs> time we finish broadcasting but we'll put it oh you've seen the photo but the most important a bit of a teaser yeah the most important thing is that you um see how it's actually built and don't be afraid guys to cook with your hands put some emotion into your food all my food has so much emotion 
And the love. Yeah. <laughs> you you just start dating and start crying. Going, oh, oh, my no, God. no, but it's um, everything I cook is for the intention that this is going to nourish my family. And yes. That's oh, Maddie. Everything. But that's everything that I, when you cook, you just think, what is this going to do for my body and what's this going to do for the body of anyone that's going to be eating it? So everything that I do, anyone that comes into the house, it's all about the emotion and the intention behind why we're eating. And this is why we are becoming so sick as a world is that we're not connecting with the thought of eating. We're just eating for mindlessly. So we need to connect, okay? So that's, that's my deep spiritual side. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, fantastic. so we're going to pop that into the oven. And... That's gonna make a beautiful. Um, that's gonna make a beautiful lunch. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you this um, preparing this date loaf because it is so simple, and um, I've got everything ready here. So this date a more like loaf. I've actually made one early this morning. I got up. I got up nice and early this morning because I wanted everyone to to taste. This is a beautiful loaf. And we're actually going to um, make a beautiful butter that's going to be garnished with a bit of um, cinnamon and some orange. And then we're going to top some um, beautiful frozen raspberries on the top. So, like I said, I always take things to that next level. So, in this is dates for natural sweetness and fibre. Coconut sugar, another low GI, and it's a natural sugar. Wait, what was that? Sorry? Coconut sugar. Coconut we use. sugar? Yep. So, this is um, extracted straight from the coconut um, tree and it's natural low GI. Okay, we're going to throw in about a quarter of a cup of that. And I'm also someone's phone to me. Yeah, and we're going to pop in some water into there. And we're also going to pop in some butter. Um, was there butter in the fridge already cut up? Um, no, yeah. oh, there, cool. And then we're going to pop, pop in some butter. So this is quite similar to like a sticky date pudding, oh, but, so um, oh. but a healthier version. <laughs> healthier. Sorry, I'm making your apron really dirty. Okay, let me move all those. Yep, I need those. And what you do here is you actually cook this down. And we're going to cook it for about seven minutes. Let me just get my instructions here. And... Oui. Maddie, yo, Denise is asking, do you know just roughly how much sodium is in that loaf? Sodium? Pretty um, low, I assume. It would be, there would be no added sodium. It's only if there's any in the um, in the sauce, if they've added the dates and they're not sulfite-free, there might be a bit of sodium from the preserving factor, um, but there should be no sodium, only from it yeah. that's in the flour as well. Okay. So we're adding, um, we're putting all this in, and I'm going to actually cook this for about seven minutes on 75 degrees. So about five minutes to yep. go. Yep, all good, <laughs> all good. No pressure here, guys. You don't mind if I go five minutes over? We don't mind at all. <laughs> no. Okay. We need 75 degrees. The great thing with this is you just turn the dial and then you just um, change the temperature. Uh, there we go, and we need speed two, and then we just push play, and then it's going to cook and mix it for us, and it's going to make it all nice and mushy. Okay, I'm just going to do that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bowl ready because I'm going to show you how to make a whipped butter. Now, there's a lot of controversy out there about the fats, if they're healthy, if they're not. All I can say is if you source the best um, the best fats, like butters that are organic and even grass-fed, they're getting more and more available out there, um, they're going to be the fats that you want to be eating, okay? So, and like we've always said, little bits, not a lot, okay? So with this whipped butter, all I do, oh, I'm move all this. Okay. Are we hanging in there, guys? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the crowd's gone quiet. <laughs> we're, we're, we're paying attention. Paying attention. Beautiful. I really want to show you um, how to make this cake because it's so simple and so easy. Um, and Did you yeah. said there was a special coming after. There is a special. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to share that really soon with everybody. So sorry, I'm out of the camera. Get back in there. Get back in the camera.
You can hear me? Producer can't says. see me. Back okay. in the shot, please. Back in the shot. There we go. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to um, make sure you visit Thermo Boutique. Now, these, like I've said before, these are absolutely fantastic. They're amazing. They're amazing. So, what you do is... In these machines, you can make um, all your salads and everything, especially at the summertime, you're going on your picnics and everything like that. You can throw um, a beautiful coleslaw or anything like that in there. Um, even your dip, and then put your all your crackers around the edge, and then put the lid on, pop it in your picnic basket, and they're awesome. So, do they stay cool? Or they stay cool, cool, and they also stay hot. Okay, wow. so they're really, really good. And what I love about these thermo cubes is not only they've got the silicon bases, but they've different sizes. So this is really good for all your meat, for all you people that have a barbecue. So you could put all your sausages and cook them all up if you're out in the car and put your lid on and they stay nice and warm. We so should try to ask if we can get a special deal. We've got a special deal. Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a, we've got a 20% off for all people and free shipping. Oh, wow. So yeah, Thermo, um, the coupon code, we'll pop it up online for you um, and we'll put the link up as well. But the coupon code is Thermo Boutique 20. You get 20% off and free shipping. And they make excellent Christmas presents as well for the mums out there. I know I'd like these for Christmas. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. Really, really cool. So thanks to Thermo Boutique. It's um, awesome. And look at these awesome bottles that they have as well. They're Amazing. So, nice. so, so nice. All right. Two minutes out? Two minutes! Pressure! No! no. Alright. I will get this ready so that we can get this beautiful witch butter happening. One thing that's really important is when you're using these jars, make sure that your elements at the bottom are always dry um, because you can actually damage your machine. Okay, so if you're washing them, um, please make sure that that bottom is dry. Okay? Any questions out there while we're winding up? Okay, beautiful. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this butter. Make sure your butter is at room temperature. Now, I did this recipe and I tested it out on my mother-in-law and father-in-law, was it two weeks ago? Uh -huh. And I said to them, tell me what you think of the recipe because it might form one of it and they couldn't get enough of it, could they? Yeah. So, Grant, if you're watching, here it is. This is the recipe. Um, and we're heading up there at Christmas time, so I'm sure she'll get me to make it again. So um, we're going to add some butter. We're going to add some cinnamon. Can you see the cinnamon? There's the cinnamon. Cinnamon and orange are match made in heaven. Now I will offer you all the um, the recipes and the measurements as well. Have you got the orange? Cool. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, and then I've just got the zest of one orange, and that's just going to lift it that little bit. And we're going to pop in a little bit of coconut sugar. Okay. Just for a bit of sweetness. Here's a tip here, coconut sugar, guys. If, you're, if you cook a lot out there and you use vanilla beans, when you've scraped out the seeds, drop your vanilla bean into your jars of your coconut sugar or anything like that, and it gives it a vanilla flavour. It actually infuses through. Yeah. Okay. So just a little bit of sugar, and then, uh, oh, that smells like caramel, so yum. Alrighty, and then as soon as this is done, I'm going to whip that up, and I'm going to get my whisk, is the whisk in there? Um, okay, we're about, we're just going over there. Awesome. Now I've probably only I've only showcased probably a quarter of what this machine can do, um, but there's so many other functions. So if you want to know more about this, please let us know. Come back to us and you tell us what you want to know about these machines because um, you know they're worth every dollar. And I'm telling you now, but what is it? Eight hundred and fifty dollars? Is that what you're selling them for? Eight hundred. Eight forty-nine. Eight forty-nine. Oh my God. It's an absolute bargain. So, all right, now I'm going to stop this because it's cooked enough. Okay. Now look at this. I wish I could. I wish you could smell it. Okay. Oh, Maddie, stop it. Stop, stop it. it. Okay. Now that's the start of the cake. 
And in a minute, I'm going to actually add, I'm just going to let that cool for a bit, because if we add egg into that now, it's going to scramble it. So we just need to let it cool for a minute. Okay, now in here I've added the butter, the orange and the cinnamon, and then a little bit of coconut sugar. And this is our whipped butter. And whip it. Whip it. Whip it good. Whip it. I couldn't help it. Love it. Okay, and I'm just going to whip this on speed three. Nice and gentle. Because they're so powerful, if you whip it too fast, it actually pushes everything to the outside, as you can see there. Okay, so this butter is pretty much done because it's been at room temperature. And this is what's going to, and you can roll this into like a log or you can keep it in a nice little bowl. Um, just use this, that fancy little, and this is a really yummy butter. It's a bit of a, a naughty but nice thing to have. Okay. Santa's watching. Santa's watching, but you know what? It's um yeah. You don't have to have the butter, but um it's just yeah. Just gives the date loaf because the date loaf's quite heavy. It just gives it a little bit more heavy um lightness to it. Um, Maria, can you just grab me the raspberry? And I'm just going to quickly demonstrate what I do with the bread, and then we're going to do our special. Okay, so we've got our bread here. Oh, they're in a little um, the little plate, the really nice one. Okay, so this bread, it honestly took probably I don't know. Um, this was another photo. I think I put this photo up as well. I, I, I think people may have seen the photo. Yeah, beautiful. Frozen. It's frozen. Oh look, we froze our mint. <laughs> <laughs> um, just get a little plate for me, please, Lee. And then all we do. So I'll quickly show you this. Awesome! And then this is such a yummy freshly baked loaf. And you just with a little bit of the butter, you just go like this. And once again, because of Instagram, we have to make the food also beautiful. And we need to add some colour. And I always like to add freshness to our okay. And then the great thing with this is everyone can just customise their own loaf. And then, yeah, happy day. So, that's really yummy. These guys are going to enjoy this a little bit later. So, there we wow. go. Oh, just look at that. that so pretty. Amazing. See, you go like this, you put your green, and there we go. So, there's your date loaf with whipped orange butter and some fresh frozen, oh, frozen raspberries. And all I've done with the raspberries is I get a meat mallet and it, on the packet you just bash it so that it goes all into little pieces. All right, now quickly I will show you how that loaf happens. So once that's been cooling for a few minutes, I'm just about done guys. So we add our flour. Okay, now I always use wholemeal flour because we add more fibre into our diet, the better. We add one egg. We add half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. And we also add our walnuts. Put the walnuts there, Maria. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. You want to tip them in? Good job. And then all you do with this cake is you just blitz it on a sleeve for like 30 seconds. Okay. Um, and you push by. Whoops. That one doesn't like me. Okay. 
okay if you've got the mixer going, you've got everything going. Sorry, darling. Um, I can't see the screen. Sorry, Facebook Livers, but you'll have to tune into YouTube Live. There's competition here. <laughs> um, okay, and kitchen's getting really messy, and if there was a chef in here, they would be going, clean your kitchen. They wouldn't be able to cope, so, but there's so much happening. Home cooking at its best. Home cooking at its best, and look how much we've um, actually knocked out. Okay, Not so an hour. In just an hour. And then, here's your batter for your cake. Yum. Okay? So that's about Yum. as hard as it is. And then all you do is you pour that into a pre-prepared tin and bake it for 30, 30 minutes. And that is done. So, I will share all these recipes with you online. Um, they'll get typed up and all pretty, yeah? yeah. Fantastic. And we've got um, our coupon code. Alina, do you want to come and um, announce the special? Hi, everybody. There it goes. Hi, so for those of you who don't know us, I'm Candy and this Alina. Is Alina. We represent Groovy Optimum. Um, and we have managed to get our very, our, our producers are telling us to move a little bit. <laughs> okay. um, we have asked our bosses, because you guys have been so fantastic. Something's in the way. Okay, it's been there we go. <laughs> um, to give you a special offer, because, you I mean, it's... <laughs> She doesn't like that. If I got married again, sorry, Katie, I'd use um, I'd use vegetables as a bouquet. She doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Candy, go. So, uh, <clears throat> it is usually um, sixteen hundred dollars for one of these machines, but we have this amazing special. Um, so it's eight, is it eight forty nine. Yep. Yeah, that's Australian dollars. Um, and if you order with our special coupon code that we'll give to you shortly, you'll get an extra jug. Because as you can see with Maddie, it's easier with a couple of jugs when you're doing quite a lot. And what we wanted to do today was to give you, you know, um, help your Christmas a little bit more stress-free, a bit healthy. So all these recipes that she's going to give you is going to help you do just that. So Lena, I'll we'll give it to you to tell you us about the coupon So code. if you want to take advantage of this offer, do you go onto our website, breezy.com.au. Um, what was that website, sorry? Fruity.com.au <laughs> Got it. <Yeah. laughs> um, you got to add a red that we cook to your car. We've got especially just on the red, you know, Christmas. Oh, Christmas. 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 Festive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you have to go to the product accessories page and then add your jug as well. Um, and then you've got to type in at the bottom, it's TC, so Thermocook, Xmas. Is that all capitals? All capitals. Yeah. Awesome. Is there a dash? Easy. No dash. So it's no T C X M A S. Yeah. yeah. Got it. X okay. S. And that will give you a free jug. Free on jug. Us. I'll give to you. That's awesome. And the jug's usually what? How much is a jug on its own? Gosh, I can't remember. I think it's like one of those. Yeah, I was going to say. It's over a hundred dollars. Over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, and Sorry, what was that code again? T C X M A S. T C X M A S. All capitals. We will write a little comment below so you can all get it right. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Maddie. Pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. If you've got any questions, please. Um, yeah. Write in the question and that the girls will forward it on. And we'll we'll um, answer all the questions. Answer all the right. questions for you. But yeah, like I said, cooking's not hard. It's just the time and investing the time because your body will love you back for it. So um, yeah, have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.